China is holding military drills in the Yellow Sea off its east coast for the next five days, according to a notice put out by the Maritime Safety Authority and the People's Liberation Army. A no-go zone has been declared from Friday to Tuesday in an area spanning from southeast of Rongcheng in Shandong Province down to waters near Lianyunggong in Jiangsu. The notice was issued two days after the Maritime Authority had said a major military exercise would be held in the same location and over the same period. That notice was removed from the Authority's website hours after being posted, without explanation. Thursday's notice did not say what the drills would involve but it was jointly issued by the PLA's Unit 91208, which operates a fleet of missile boats in the Northern Theater Command. The small, fast warships are equipped with anti-ship missiles and can be used in a swarm to attack targets at sea. The Chinese Navy's missile boats are each armed with eight subsonic anti-ship missiles as well as a rapid-fire Gatling gun for aerial targets and firepower support. While they are mainly used for coastal defense, the PLA has begun using them in more of an expeditionary role that could have strategic implications for the South China and East China Seas, where regional tensions have been rising. In April, two Chinese Type 022 Hubei class missile boats were reportedly involved in an incident near the Second Thomas Shoal, which is occupied by the Philippines and located in the disputed Spratly Islands in the South China Sea. A news crew from Philippine television network ABS-CBN said they were chased by the two warships as they reported on Chinese maritime activities in the disputed waters. Meanwhile. Two other parts of the Yellow Sea were cordoned off on Friday in anticipation of the remnants of a Chinese rocket plunging down, according to a separate notice from the Lianyunggong Maritime Safety Authority. The debris was expected to land in the sea sometime between 12 p.m. and 12 a.m., and vessels are prohibited from entering the two zones. It was not clear whether the military activity in the area was related to the falling rocket debris. U.S. gives glimpse of new B-21 bomber amid China, Russia, threats. The U.S. Air Force has released a new image and details of its next-generation B-21 Raider stealth bomber, which defense experts say is apparently part of efforts to counter threats posed by China and Russia's military modernizations. While the artist rendering does not give away much of the design, the Air Force said in a statement on Tuesday that it would be part of America's nuclear triad of options to strike by air, ground or submarine. The built-in feature of open systems architecture on the B-21 makes the bomber effective as the threat environment evolves, Randall Walden, director of the Air Force Rapid Capabilities Office, said in the statement. This aircraft design approach sets the nation on the right path to ensuring America's enduring airpower capability. The bomber's open systems architecture will allow it to engage with other advanced aircraft platforms and weapon systems that are designed for modern warfare, according to military experts. Ben Ho, an airpower analyst at the S. Rajaratnam School of International Studies in Singapore, said the evolving threat environment appeared to be about China and Russia, was arguably referring to the increasing threat posed by near-peer competitors China and Russia as they not only modernize their nuclear arsenals but also their air defenses, Ho said. It is also conceivable that the B-21 is meant as a like-for-like -like counter to China's H-20 strategic stealth bomber that may fly next year, and that has arguably accelerated the B-21 program. China announced it was developing the long-range H-20 bomber in 2016 but has yet to release any images or give a date for it to go into service. It is expected to be equipped with nuclear and conventional missiles and be part of the People's Liberation Army nuclear triad. 
Russia, meanwhile, is developing its own next-generation strategic bomber, the Pak Da, which is expected to go into service in 2027. It also claims its newest Nebo M surveillance radar system can detect U.S. stealth aircraft. Zhou Chenming, a researcher with the Yuan Wang Military Science and Technology Institute in Beijing, noted that the U.S. Air Force had put the average cost of each B-21 at $639 million United States dollars, with at least 100 to be built.